There we go. Okay. Um, assuming mode is on, so we're not going to continue. Um. Ah, lies. Which YouTube. sorted. Hello, Orange. Hello, how you been? Um, you'll be glad to know. Sorry, I'm just getting the I'm setting things up on my side still. Uh, I think you'll be happy to know that um we made the bone zone we fixed the bone zone it's working it's all good we managed to get that going uh much happening below the map uh below the map we have the extended duford extended duford city um so yeah so this is i just want to sort of tidy up everything and make sure it's in a pretty good state ready for no it's not working uh, make sure it's in a decent state, ready for when we um, release tomorrow, the, the second demo. So, uh, but yes, yeah, so the bone zone is working. Uh, in fact, I think I need to show you guys. Um, I Thursday is still forbidden. Thursday is seems to be the only day we do things now, Lil. Um, because everyone um, tends to be busy in other days. Well, even Lil. And thanks for popping in, ship. But yeah, so after last night and I was struggling to get it working, it turns out it only took me like two minutes to get this code working. Um, all I had to do was actually put it in the right place. Um, it seemed to be overwriting the changes we were making uh, with, the, with the flying types. <coughs> with the flying type check. So, no, we don't want to run away. So now, when we use Earthquake on a flying Pokemon, it kills it. Golden days. Everyone's looking at us like, what the hell? That's not going to happen. But it is. That's how things are meant to happen in this world. If, you, if you're in the bone zone. It's not popping up with the bone zone. So I, I'd love it to pop up and say, you know, you're in the bone zone or whatever. But unfortunately not. Um, but it works. And, you know, 90% of coding is making it work. The other 10% is dealing with uh, other people. Um, okay, so we have the dojo. Um, dojo here. So let, I'll show you the coding for this. Come on. Chain, why is it not changing? Hang on, the code's not showing up. Um, you were suggested. There we go. Now the code's showing up. So the, the code for this um, isn't anything too complex. Um, but we just have the black belt. Who are these two guys? Um, all over side, they're just sort of battling each other. We have the um, female expert who's just talking about, like, you know, a bit of the story wise, what's going on. Talking about we've got Brawley and developing hundreds of trainers. This is going to talk about, like, how we're going to introduce Chuck and other fighting type gym leaders from other games into it. Got a sign that is pretty much just a placeholder for you guys to know what's going on. Um, with a big piece of code is this and this is basically just sort of doing you know this is where the next hey Bob, how you doing welcome on in um but this piece of code is just sort of saying this is where the next uh dojo is for you to do so if you obviously if you haven't started yet you can take it on um basically needs it's checking if you beat him broadly if you beat him broadly you get your white belt um and they give you a tie rogue um, as you go through, you'll slowly gain new belts, and that'll do it. And that'll increase, uh, and that will sort of. And there's something we can add. We can add dojos across the area. We're reusing the Anthony's gym script because I uh, background because I think it looks quite good, and it will save us some memory 
in the long run, which we got. I think we got to be a bit more careful with. What is your question, Pog? I will try to answer it as best as I can. Um, but yeah, so that, I think that is our dojo. And I don't know what you think, but I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so there's no wild Pokemon in this bit yet. I've actually, if anyone got ideas for wild thing, you keep saying DB, but I don't know what that means. You're going to have to give me more information, mate. Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't work. I'm a programmer. You need to give me like clear, obvious information for me to be able to know what's going on. Uh, so let's work on the wild Pokemon because obviously we got the water and fishing. Um, we need to add those in. I'm tempted just to utilize what we have on the other ones. So tentacle, wingo, wingo. Quite easy. We can pretty much just copy this. Um, what battle building like um the the one in route 111 do you mean do you mean this one or if you're talking about a late game thing no i haven't because i'm not looking at post game at this point i'm just looking at um i'm just focusing on the early game so each release is going to be based around one gym so tomorrow's release will be up to gym two and so on lighthouse of tm at the bottom in the water I need surf to get it um has there been any ideas on the lighthouse of dragonite well you and harry seem to have the same ideas I was, uh, no i haven't worked on that yet yeah so that's a pog that's a late game area one and i'm, I'm focusing on <laughs> on early game stuff at the moment because the battle building is going to need like a ton of work so it would probably be like a weekend job and like can i ask what you use for editing a map editing items um i use two programs I edit the map in Poi script. Oh, sorry, Poi maps. Uh, so I use decompiled emeralds. So everything's broken down in subsequent sort of like um, files and stuff. So all of the map editing I do in Poi script. And you can see on the side here, you've got all the files available, the collision, some prefabricated things. Um, and I can set like wild Pokemon in here, connect them to other areas and so on and so forth. Um, and I actually have a great, I think we should put the um, lighthouse here, maybe in the extended thing. They, they are all game, but they're a lot of work to do, Pog. Um, oh yeah, the design. So and I do the scripting, I do in uh, in Visual Studio Code. Because um, it, it, it's a decompiled, everything's broken down into its code. So you can see this is how the scripts look like. Um, as a language called Pori script. And this just sort of wraps everything up into things. Uh, can I DM you? Maybe just let me know. Yeah, drop me a DM. I'll, I'll forward it. I will, I'll put together some things. Because uh, what you need to do is you need to you need to go into GitHub and clone the repository for like the base Emerald game. Um, and I would suggest installing Pori script, and then you just do it from there. Um, if you need to have a somewhat of an idea of how to do things, like how to use coding, how to use Git and stuff um because you need to set up like uh you need to set your machine up to also be able to uh compile it so if you want to do it without having to like deal with uh all of that stuff you can look at there's some other programs that lets you just drop in a rom and edit things um but like editing items i would go to items um so i can change an item in here uh so berserk gene we can see it's got a hold effect berserk gene um, so then I search for it and we can see like, okay, buffer stat change, the battler ID, stat attack, string, and it does all that stuff here. A new type space, so-called related Pokemon, such as Cosmic stuff. You need to go, we need to, we need to do all those stuff in, um, Evergrande. Uh, so I've already done one type, Penver, and I'd love to do more types. It's just doing the one type I've done so far was... It, it, it was a mission so we've added the crystal type and we can easily add more types in um we could add a space type maybe we'll do some like define type space or cosmic um and i'm just gonna put these out so if anyone has any ideas for types maybe we'll put suggestions underneath and we can start like working on them 
And we can, to be a this game is about viewer suggestions. If we want to add like loads of types and go for it, why not? Um, but yeah, be a good. Be interesting how we could do it. Uh, like even bottom up where the beach is. So we could have a lighthouse in Lily Cove. So this is this is a new port I'm creating. It's uh, south of Little Root. So you have Little Root um, port. It's an anime only play, so I thought let's introduce it. Um, so I need to create the thing in a cross. What what do you class as the goat pog? Um, because we haven't got like many high level things yet. Um, because you've kind of you have already kind of got a lighthouse in Lily Cove. This isn't you know, this is slate port. Um, I think with Lily Cove you're kind of tight on space. You have it at the bottom of the map where the beach is. Well, like here where the boats come through. Um. So, what we are working on doing orange is let's call it. Uh, let's create a map. Lily Cove uh, Lighthouse outside. Um, and we need like slate port. Oh, you we just added like a goat in. Uh, if you send me the sprite, I can I can add in a goat. Um, it's a route, ocean route, location. Let's class it as Lily Cove for now. Um, so here we go. So here's our new map. We want to connect it up to Lily Cove. But we want Lily Cove to be above. Uh, this is the sort of thing you're looking at, isn't it? So we want to go like, um, we want it wide. Let's want it somewhat. Um, do 40 whip for now. Um, and we're going to have it connectable from there. So you sort of come around. Maybe I just do it the same dimensions as this. That's 80 wide. What are you thinking? Uh, how? Uh, so if you just create the sprite, you could just send it to me over Discord and then I can uh, add, add them in quite easily. The thing I can't do is the artwork because I'm rubbish. So if we do this. So is this sort of thing you're thinking of like. Um, around here. I got a prefabbed water. I do have water rocks. Um, uh not correct so as it as the boat comes out we could have like an island here and on this we can use the um new pokemon like baby form pal palkia yeah we can add new pokemon um we have added a few I realize that's my spelled we've added a few new pokemon um in fact i can show you um we go in here you can see we've added in a custom soul rock um it's crystal type when will this be released mate i don't know it's it's gonna take me a long time to do it so the next demo will be released uh this weekend which will be demo two and that will lead up everything i've done so far up to um gym two that includes the crystal caves, it includes, um, so it's the version I've got now, so it will include all the crystal Pokemon. Um, so those are the crystal forms, and then these Pokemon now have, like, the crystal type added to them. Why does that, I've got a bad egg somehow in my code, but. Um, uh, where is it available, I guess, yeah, you'll need an emulator to it. Um, yeah, so you need an emulator. Hey, Jupiter, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Um, yeah, so it's a Game Boy Advance ROM. You need an emulator. It's available. It will be available on our Discord just because it's easier for me to uh, release 
updates on there without having to go through other like websites and stuff i will eventually update my website and do it on there but yes jupiter this is a rom hack i'm working on it's using decompiled emerald um i know a lot of people i'm surprised how many people have like heard of essentials which is quite cool but now this is a actual rom hack so we're using um the decomp code and i'm doing this in poi maps um lighthouse i'm not sure what you mean by the sprout tower inside um, I'm going to need a bit more information than that. Um, I think this, and actually I'll, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a bit of uh, a little bit of sandiness. Because it's nice to have some sandiness sometimes. Um, would it be cool to implement Turnback K from Diamond and Pearl? Any channel from the coding your suggestions with? Oh, that's awesome. I, I've been really lacking at posting things onto um, YouTube lately just because it, it doesn't... I'm, I'm trying to do over minute-long videos, which uh, YouTube Shorts doesn't allow. Um, like I had a spam drone, you had channel shimmer. To... That's very similar to the one in uh, Johto. It could be a good way to put... Uh, what's her face from Johto at the top? Uh, Jasmine. Is it Jasmine? Uh, let me just look up Turn Back Cave, Diamond and Pearl. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum knowledge is quite lo limited. Ah, oh, so Turn Back Cave is where you get Guillotina. Yeah. Um, so I actually have done something similar, um, JJM. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the videos, but I've created um, what I've called Littlewood Root. Um, and this is similar to Turnback Cave. So, like, so here's the entrance. So, let's call this map one. If you go east to map two, south to map three. Um, to map four and then east again uh, you get back to one so you've sort of gone like down right down right right and you end up back at one like that the whole place sort of loops and then yeah one if you go up from one you get to four if you go right from four twice you go to one it's like the whole thing doesn't quite make sense it's sort of like based off the lost woods from zelda um and there's like as you go through you unlock you can find little extra hideouts and stuff um i do want to do something similar with like turn back cave um and i i think it'd be a good place for guillotine what i'm thinking about doing it is below uh one two six one one twenty one twenty one twenty one um doing it under mount pyre i'm making wrong it's not too hard jupiter so there's different ways of doing it a lot of people use essentials which creates a it doesn't create a rom hack but it creates pokemon game with an executable and that uses like RPG Maker. Uh, and that's like really simple. Like you don't really have to have an understanding of coding and stuff. Um, if you don't want to have an understanding of co coding, you can use something like uh, Advanced Map. I think there's a modern one I need to look into. But that's very much like what I've got here. You get a, you get a thing. Um, you get an overworld. You can see your trainers. And you can just like, just start drawing things in. Um... And then you have to use other programs. You just drop in an emerald um, thing and it just does it all for you, which is brilliant. Uh, what I do is decomp. Um, and again, they're making the map spot. It's quite easy. Then doing this is like... And do, do, using the code makes it a bit easier. Game like Unbound problems. Yeah, I mean, Unbound, they had a full team. So they had like artists, sound guys, multiple map makers, writers. Like I think they were a team of about 12, 13 people um, to put it all together. And like the quality shows, uh, that that's the main thing about it is is you you can see, um, the the quality of that of of, of the game. Um, which you might not, which you don't get from other other ones. Uh, but yeah, it, it depends on like the the amount of work the the work they put in. It, it really it really sort of benefits the the final product. It's not something you can like. People often come in and be like, "Oh, when's it going to be done?" It's like, mate, it's when it's it's just me. 
I was, as I say, it's just me. We do get people supporting. Like we've had some people do art, offer to do artwork, and uh, one guy's going to do some music, which I think is awesome. Um, having that stuff just alleviate it. Uh, means that I don't have to do it all, but in general, it's going to take months to get anywhere. Um, so I should have been showing this. So we were talking about doing a a little. So all working on here is some kind of um, is uh, some kind of like little uh, I've forgotten the word for it lighthouse. I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, I'm not going to do too much of the lighthouse today. I think we'll just draw out the shape of it. And we can start throwing in some pseudo code. And the reason for that is um, it's a late game area which we're not really gonna see until we get surf. So we can make it like look uh, visible and stuff. Uh, I forgot, did you end up making space area for doctors? I did make, yes, I made, made side, I'm a bit late in that. Yes, we have got space and we have got uh, Deoxys there. Um, where did I put it? The. Yeah, here we go, the moon. Yeah, so the moon um, we created. And you got like the little clefairies there. So this is very early on. Needs a lot more to do. Um, but you have got the oxys there. Basically, I've taken New Birth Island or whatever it's called. And we've just inversed it. So instead of being a island, it's now a crater on the moon, which I think is good. Uh, when were evolutions added? They were added from the beginning, or do you mean in this game, or do you mean in general? Um, I added. Uh, I've had mega evolutions since I first started coding this, um, and uh, we've. Oh, I think you can only access two megas at the moment. We haven't actually added in the mega bracelet, so you have to hack it in. Um, but no, they're in there. Can you make a puzzle type thing like Origin Cave? Um, or do you mean in Origin Cave? Because, yes, yes, I can. Um, we have, we have the Cave of Origin. Um, in fact, we've even extended, so there's a new part to Origin Cave, which leads to this boy, where you can get Manaphy, because we do weird things like that. I swear I used like this when I was young, so I made it worse. I it was probably advanced map you used collector um because I used to use it when I was like 11 12 and when I first came back to coding um I did use uh, I did use uh, advanced map I think if you go all the way back to our TikTok like the first video I did where I was making uh, my new game my other game um I did it in advanced map um I then did some digging found out our decomp was like I'm going to do this instead uh please can you do mega evolution pit club uh, I can do. Hang on, let me pull up Sublime and I'll make notes. You want a mega evolution? Why why Piplop and not like Empoleum? Um we could we can have a look. Bear in mind my my artistic skills are nil. Like you're gonna end up seeing gross things if I did it. Piplop I got I quite like um I've got a lovely Piplop. Pokemon deck for I think it's like Sun Moon Era and uh, Piplup and Prinplup have incredible moves and then um, Napoleon has like crap moves but it, it has a move that just lets you use pre-evo attacks it's awesome plan to add rivals of other games yes yes I do um, I've already started working on it um, in Rustboro you can take on Red um and then you can also take on Leaf. And they're going to pop up again multiple times in the game. Um, we're also working on adding in others. So there's a mysterious character here. But you can also find them in the hotel. We go to the top. Um, you can see a really badly made Faulkner. Uh, makes noise to me. I think Snorlax is currently the antagonist of the whole game. Snorlax is 
I think it was was it you who suggested I need to add the Snorlax trainer as well. Because I genuinely think people are going to hate you. People already hate the Snorlax we've added. Um, what's these? Because if you weren't aware, at the end of Victory Road is a giant Snorlax. So after you've battled your way through Victory Road, and on hard mode, this is going to obviously be difficult. And got past Wally, you realize you need a Poker Flute. So you have to go and get the Poker Flute. Currently, it's really easy to get, but I'm going to make it harder. Um, one person says something really mean, which I doubt I do. Um, and then someone suggested once you wake up the Snorlax, you don't battle the Snorlax, you battle a trainer who comes on with six Snorlaxes and just decimates the player. So then you get sent off again. Um, and of course, that doesn't move the Snorlax. You've got to beat the trainer of six Snorlaxes and then you beat this Snorlax. And I think I'm going to totem boost this Snorlax. Um, like, it's going to be brutal. Um, maybe not on normal mode, but maybe on hard mode, it's going to be mean. And while I think about it, there's something I've completely missed, which is um, this, this piece here. Yeah, perfect. Um, so this N is actually the rival. Um, if we go into the code, we have the rival encounter. Uh, go to rival encounter. Um, May or Brandon. Maybe block a route with a gang of munchlax like the Silent from Pearl. Could do. I think maybe that's something we can do in the um, next. So, so in this one, obviously, we've got we're releasing the larger Duford. Um, but what I want to do is, if you look at the map on the right left hand side here, you can sort of see the water goes here and it it goes a bit weird here. That's because to the left where my cursor is, there wasn't actually any land. Like the game doesn't render anything. Um, maybe you could meet the Snorlax trainer. Do we? Hey, that's that 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 works actually. That works. Um, yeah. So we, I want to obviously extend this area to the left, and you can start to see where I've worked on it here. I do like the you. Maybe maybe you battle him on your way into the um into the gym let's create let's create it so let's um throw a trigger point in and we're going to call this var um snorlax trainer uh value zero and we're going to create a script so script uh rosboro event script uh snorlax Trainer encounter one. Block all. Uh, release all. Message box. Hey. Um, then we're going to apply a movement. Do the object event player ID. Uh, move. Um, movement. Rus Rusbro. City. Norlax. Uh. Rise. Um, weight movement object. So this will basically um, is a movement script. A movement script is very easy. It just when you saying wait for movement, um, it will run through all of these actions. And what we want to do is emote exclamation mark. And that's going to be like, Doink! what's going on? Uh, have we already got one. No, we don't. We've got Red doing one. Maybe a Mewtwo and Mew Secret Boss. Uh, so we have got a plan for Mewtwo and Mew. Basically, the story is Team Rocket has taken over Mirage Island. And on Mirage Island, there is... Um, I don't know, I have this guy run from over here. Um, oh yeah, on Mirage Island, there is going to be a broken down sort of old lab. You go in there and you take it on and that will... Um, yeah, when you take it on and uh, you'll fight your way, you'll battle Giovanni um, and then Mewtwo will break out and escape. That will give you the ability to catch Mew. Uh, you then hunt down Mewtwo and then you can take Mewtwo on. So Mewtwo will be a trainer with like clone Pokemon, which will be, I need to add. And then you can get Mewtwo. But then I'm also going to add in like the Mewtwo armor. 
if you give like the held item how you give you to armor it'll have its alternate form so there's loads of that to do um and what i might do is i might change it so in my other game i've upped the level cap to 200 which allows me to have like the arceus fighters level 125 in that i might do that hey zone how you doing zone you'll be glad to know i fixed the bone zone the bone zone was working uh anthony let's see your tiktoks thank you um I, I will do more of them, but we're slowly getting there. Uh, release two will be tomorrow. Mewtwo battle like in the movie. Yeah, no, no, that's it. So that's it. You'll. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to make him. There's either two ways we can do the Mewtwo battle. We'll, we'll talk about it more when we actually get there. It's going to be. I, I want the game to be have like expansion. So I'm going to release the bulk of the game, which we're working on, and then we'll do like island expansions. Home and being this like big area, we can just say, boom, here's a post game area. Boom, here's post game area. Boom, here's release an area. The Mirage Island is going to be one of those. There's two ways we can do it. Um, you can battle Mewtwo, or you battle Mewtwo as the trainer, um, and he uses clone Pokemon like he does in the anime, and we create new clone forms. Maybe we give them slightly different stats, uh, and in that, they have the different... We, we give them the different um, sprites, so they look like they do in the anime. Or we can try and make it so that it, the, the, he uses an identical team to you. So if you lead with an Altaria, he leads with an Altaria. If you lead with a Sizzle, he leads with a Sizzle. Um, and it, we might be able to do it. So there's two ways of doing it. I don't know how we're going to do it. But yeah. Starsky, sorry for the delay, but thanks for the follow. Have you added the Pink Island? No, Pink Island haven't added yet. Um, nothing, none, No more islands are going to be added until we unlock Surf. Once we unlock Surf, we'll start adding and filling out the uh, the islands. We just Again, we're just running through the story. I want to make changes to the story bit so that as people are playing it, they don't have to go back and start again. We're doing all generations of certain Pokemon, as many as we can get in. Um, we got Gen 8 so far, and I'm going to update Gen 9 sometime over the next week. Namaste. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Right. Uh, let's do this n n uh, Munchlax fight. So we've got the fat guy there. Go back to the code. Uh, I need to know what number he is. He's number 18. Um... So the, your player is going to be like, oh, what's going on? And we want, was it 18? Object 18, movement, Dustbro. Dustbro City, move Fat Man. I know that seems rude, but he's literally called Fat Man in the code. Um, Weight movement, 18. If you're interested in any code and like you're confused what I'm doing, just say, slow down, Rob. Um line one four two five two what's it mean and i'll try and give it a bit more let me let me zoom in you'll be able to see a bit more i feel like copy pokemon idea would be good for trickster kind of random trend it would be but i'm not sure how any other pokemon it would fit um because obviously we're going to have multiple things going on with mewtwo and it's going to be a whole lot with battling giovanni battling rocket we'll throw jesse and james in there maybe you team up with red uh, which I think would be quite cool. What I want to do, so if we've got the Evergrande City, uh, Evergrande City expansion. And in that, I want to do, um, I want you to slowly unlock, uh, thanks for the pop follow, Penvir. Uh, I want to slowly add trainers in. And I don't want to just be like, oh, you get to Evergrande City and there's all the powerful trainers. Like here's all the gym leaders. Here's all the champions from previous games. And then when you do the Champions Tournament, like, you've got access to all of them. I think that's a bit naff. Maybe for the Champions Tournament, they're there, but, like, some of the unlocks. But I want Evergrande City to be, like, this final game hub, which, if you play the Dark Souls game, you have, um, like, your Firelink Shrine, which grows and develops as you do quests with, poke with, with people. I think we could do that. So, like, as you go through, and once you, like, Evergrande City, you can't access until you beat in the gym. Uh, be beating the Elite Four, but you go there and it's a pretty barren. You got somewhere you can get rare candies, you can get uh, some extra things. Um, maybe you can get that, but no, you can't. Snow, uh, you got to pay more for that. Um, but once you get to Evergrande City, like you could access Red by following his quest line through the game and then beating Giovanni. So once you're beating Giovanni, you can unlock Giovanni in the Evergrande City, and then when you do the Mewtwo stuff, you then get Red access there. There's like that place fills out almost like a showcase of how far the players got. Um, so I, I love things in games which 
grow as um, the player grows. Something that's often, which is lacking from a lot of the modern games. Um, so doing that, I think, is a great way. Okay, so this will then move. When you stand on this tail, uh, the fat man will move over. Apply movement. Wait, movement 18. Um, box format. Um, do you have any idea for text we can say? It's like... Um, what what this guy's going to say? So we've got trainer battle, single... Uh, Rustboro Munchlax Man. We also need a name for him. We have Rustboro Munchlax. Intro Rustboro Munchlax. Outro, and then we got Rustboro Munchlax post script. So this is just some like. Forces it afterwards. Text. Um, text. Intro. But test. Oh, I realize I'm not in the right thing. This is format. Uh, before you take. Hey. You can't take on Roxanne unless you're strong enough to beat me. So we're gonna we were gonna say oh and she's gonna be really weak like we don't want to do a hard mode version of him do we are we just gonna say he's he, he's just got the one pokemon um i can't believe it when you beat him um doo -doo -doo -doo. so i need to do his team which is nice and easy opponents throw that in 883 Uh, trainers. Okay. And then like that. Do I need a comma? Yeah, I need a comma because it is an object. A list. Trainer, class, pokey, maniac. Don't know all the classes. Trainer, class, leader. Game is struggling. Here we go. Um, Maniac. Pokemaniac. That's the one I want. Uh, Mana, Trainer, Dick, Pokemaniac. I think that is it again. Double check. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, I've realized I've misspelled Hugo. He's huge. He should be Hugo. Apologize, Hugo. Um, okay, so that's Munchlax Man. We need a name for the Munchlax Man. If anyone would like to be in the game or has a suggestion for a uh, trainer, then please say it Say it now. Um, where's Norlax guy? He'd be, he's the one we did to do it with. Um, well, me, Tanner, okay, you are going to be one of the most frustrating reoccurring trainers in this game. <laughs> but yes, uh, Tanner, you are now this fat guy who is going to be a recurring character. Um, and then trainer parties. Yeah, so pretty much there with this piece of code. Nice, easy one. And then we got the Munchlax Trainer, Katana. Uh, no item default moves. We've got a level one Munchlax. Level one for now, but when you meet them again, they're going to have like full on buffed out moves. So I'm just going to put a to do here. Uh, to do the super powerful version of Tanner for uh, Victor. Victory Road. I've seen people build town such. I've never seen anyone code this venture. Yeah, so a lot of people end up just doing the maps. Which is normally what I do is I try and focus on map development. But for the next release this weekend, I can't just do the map. 
um, I need to do the code behind it. And I think what you might see is a lot of people use like Essentials or Advanced Map, which doesn't have coding to it. Um, it does have coding to it, but it's all in a nice fancy UI, whereas this is sort of like more behind the scenes. There is no GUI for anything outside of the map map point. I'll try, I may be going quite quick, and that's purely because I want to keep keep it moving and get us to a point where, uh, you know, we're, we're able to test it and get it going. Um, but if I am going too fast, just, just say and I'll try and slow it down. Well, basically, we're just doing a, a trainer who's going to... Reoccur late re is going to be reoccurring um, with the Snorlaxes, and it sort of lead you to the uh, well. You get it once you get the flute. Um, but this is the first time you meet him. So message box format. So basically, this is saying yeah. Once you've so what we're saying here is like lock the player, send a message saying hey. So when they stand on this this tile here. Uh, text box will say hey what's going on um and then this fat player will this fat guy will start moving left um and then you'll battle him and then when you beat him it'll be like um i guess you're strong enough um unlike me uh we'll do that in one sentence and then we're going to put a new line um, um, I'm going to train next time you won't beat me. Uh, I want to be part of the trainer where Discord, where on Discord, so you can either just pop it in a video and I'll get, um, in the video and I can do it there. Or in, if you're in the Discord, just pop it into, um, have I got a thing for it? Um, da -da -da. yeah, so I've got a custom Pokemon game little forum thread. You can make one in there or just post it in the viewer suggested session game um, channel. If you pop it somewhere, we'll, I, I, I will add it to the list. Um, I will try, try to get, add it, get around to it because I've got so many. I've got about 50 more teams to add. Um, much like outro, yeah, da da. Unlike me, I'm not going to. That shouldn't be a white space. Uh, we want then the player, the, this guy, to go away. We want to apply movement 18, movement, a spro, city, move fat man away. Wait, movement. So this number is just an ID for the object on the overworld. That's all it is. Every. Um, Every object has this little, has an ID assigned to it. Um, and this one just does that. So we're going to walk it right. We're just going to pop it out of the player's vision, which is about seven tiles. Walk right. And when they're out of sight, we're then going to update all of the flags. So we need to do set var. Uh, which I haven't actually created the vase yet. So let's save the overworld. <coughs> uh, Snorlax trainer is there. So we now have the var. I'm going to set the var to one. Nice, easy piece of code. Uh, what I want to do, then we want to remove object, uh, remove object 18 so he doesn't appear that should keep him away um what i want to do here is on transition rustboro city um we think we want to do a check um and just make sure was it on frame I'm not great with uh, these things. St Rustboro City State. Um, maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just do a flag. Flags are easy. I will. I probably should change these. Flag hide Rustboro. Yeah, I think 
can do right hide flag hide Nah, it's got to be Raspberry. I can't do both. Raspberry. Uh, Fat Man. And then we need to set the flag before we remove it so he doesn't appear again. That will delete him from the game. Um... Like remove, they're like a permanent remove object. Remove. Attempts to add, remove money, remove coins, removes quantity of specified items, move decoration, move object. Attempts to despawn specified local ID object specified. Money. It also sets the object's visibility flag if it has one. No map specified in current map is used. Attempts to spawn. Okay. Not, not helpful. Um, and then we just want to say like, uh, we just want to have a quick little Raspberry. Uh, we just need a script for him. And munch slacks. Just so that when you um, talk to him in the overworld, he does actually say something. I love Snorlax. Snorlax. It's the best Pokemon ever. Something dumb like that. Okay, let's compile the code and see that working um i'm gonna turn this i'm gonna fix the collisions for this quickly just so that if the player does end up wandering around the map earlier than they should be that's fine um this won't break for them and we'll turn all of this surfable these little bits are gonna be Yes. Save all of that. Save all of this. Open up Debian. And compile our code. The fun part. Code compilation. Uh, but there is your... There is your Snorlax. Snorlax trainer. I just realized I think I've just realized something no yeah so that's that's that bit <coughs> so this is going to become the lighthouse um which is good that's an oh that's what I was going to do which is why we went to Rustboro is we need to do hard mode for the or the um we need to do the rival fight in hard mode currently we don't have uh oh munchlax itro is already defined brilliant errors <laughs> um that's the wrong script that should be Ah, so we've done misnamed something. Should be this attribute. Uh, please make a troll trainer post game with only level 99 EV and level 50 Latios. Yeah, where in the post game? Uh, did you want to put it in Evergrande City? Right. I, if we do level 99 EV, I think I might have to do it with the Mega EV Stone. Uh, or the Mega EV. I'm thinking about adding Mega EV. Mega EV in the game. And the whole point of the Mega EV is instead of giving it a Mega Stone, 
um you give it you you can get like better versions of the stones you use to evolve it um and with that you can then um like you get the thunder one you can evolve it into mega evolve it into jolteon uh in the battle frontier that's a good idea hang on i'm trying to work out why my code isn't working no script i should work now um let's go to route 132 Oh, that's Naval Rock. I forgot we added Naval Rock in. Um, so you're saying Battle Frontier. We've got the East Side, Old Woman. Um, puzzle in that cave and put me in the puzzle. Yeah, I want to overwrite. I want to do lots of stuff in here. But maybe we'll just put them in for now as just like here brilliant okay so before we do that let's test the code i just had and now when we go up here and we go right trying to go into the gym hey Why did it face left? I didn't write face left. This is there's a bug with uh, certain scripts which make things look left. It's very annoying. Um, I think I need to do face right there. I don't know why that bug happens. We got Tanner. I thought I had his. way test things um trainer pick okey maniac yeah that's fixed there we go so we have the level one munchlax take that out can't believe it and then he's gone Okay, that's fine. Um, you give him an important pause, you beat him like a maker stone or something like that. Okay, that's going to be quite a bit. I'm going to write this down. So we're going to put in uh, design suggestions. Uh, trainer in the post game with just a level 99 Eevee and level 50 Latias um, gives you important item maybe he gives you the um mega ev stones latios latias latios not latias ah sorry um i forget there's two of them so if that's the case level 99 ev well but we could give him the partner we could actually because partner evs in the game from let's go pikachu and let's go ev so we could say you beat him and you get the partner Eevee. And maybe it's a double battle. Maybe there's one with level 99 Eevee, one with the level 99 Pikachu, or they're the partner Pikachu and Eevee. And then one's got Latios, one's got Latias. And when they, you beat them, you can pick between Pikachu and Eevee. And maybe you, bet, you find them twice. Um, maybe you find them like mid game. And you pick one and you find them in the bows game and you have the second one uh, but at that point they can also mega evolve their latiasses um double battle with another trainer that has mirror of partner pikachu and latias uh battle them twice for each one when you have legendary birds on top of the elite four building uh because the elite four building doesn't actually have a roof 
Um, if you look at the Evergrande, not ignore that. That's Bidoof. Ignore the Bidoof statue. Um, you don't actually have a roof to it. Um, second answer. I currently don't have them in. I currently don't have them added. Just like Ho and Lugia. If you talk about like adding them into the game, we've already got a suggestion, which is somewhere in the too much water. We're gonna have some new islands, which is gonna have uh, basically follow the movie, where you're gonna have the three islands, um, and then that will lead to Lugia. So currently, Lugia's down here, which isn't great. Phoenix, thank you for the likes, bud. Yes, I can make a trainer class. Uh, it's quite easy. Uh, we go here. And we define a new one. Um, and we just define a new one through here. We just got to set up all the code for it. I've done it before. Um, I, I thought I made one. Um, but a lot of the time, I'm not sure if it works. I think trainer, cool trainer too. Ace Trainer. Oh, I thought I turned Cool Trainer 2 into Ace Trainer. I am going to turn Cool Trainer 2 into an Ace Trainer. Um, and then Cool Trainer 2. I'm going to change and replace the train Ace Trainer. There we go. So we now have Ace Trainers in the game. Who is the one ace trainer? Jasmine. They use ultra. That's what we want to see. Ace. Ace trainer. Ace. We can get rid of this because it's now custom. Okay, uh, we are making a little progress in what I actually want to make progress in. It's always enjoyable. Uh, rival battle. Um, Add a bug train of a team of Genesect level 80 and Scyther. Uh, why Genesect and Scyther is a really weird choice. Um, maybe. Yeah. I definitely think on the Dinosaur Island that should be there. So bug catcher. Um, script. Jurassic Island event script. Bug catcher. Trainer battle single. Um, memes. What, you, what are we going to call this trainer? Dinosaur bug catcher. Dinosaur bug catcher. Intro, dinosaur, bug catcher, outro, message format. Some guy was just giving this Pokemon. Um, I thought it was stronger. Greg, okay. So I think we'll pop it here because this is where you're going to be getting the Genesect stuff. So we're going to make some text here. So dinosaur. Intro. So I got an idea for this guy. That's going to be. Uh, I got given this Pokemon basically talking about uh, Genesect. Um, I was like, and then he's going to be like, and when you beat him, he's like, oh, I can't believe that. Um, oh, I can't, can't believe it. Um, uh, I have an idea, but I don't know if I work it out. I can try. You should add like a gravity type area as in 
somewhere that's got permanent gravity on so you can't use flying pokemon and levitate pokemon i like that idea but where would we put it you got the moon which is like anti-gravity area not anti-gravity but low gravity area but i've not a lot of people have said they want me to do some stuff with the floaty jumping but that is well outside my pay grade outside of my the the the, the grade of effort i'm going to put for something i'm only doing a little bit at a time for um maybe put it in a cape we could maybe in maybe to we tie it to uh the engine Maybe we tie it to the guillotina. So as you go f deeper into um, deeper into Mount Pyre, and obviously towards uh, guillotina, that's where you find uh, we can start adding gravity to it. Then it's like a like you have um, foggy areas. So if you in my game, if you go to Mount Pyre at the moment, you have it has permanent fog up. You do something like that. Trainer class podcatcher. Trainer pick podcatcher. Trainer is called Greg. Dino bug catcher. Trainer bodies. Um, I am. Very, you very much see that the, the 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 Pokemon are going to be very basic for now, and that's purely because I'm waiting for the. Uh, I'm going to be updating the um, engine over the weekend, and with the updated engine, we'll be able to do a lot more powerful things with the game. I just don't want to do it all. Um, a class called Elite Five make four the Elite Four, but then they have the like with like the Elite Four, but they have two Pokemon like Raider character. They both the trainers have two Pokemon. Ah, oh, so there's like five hidden trainers around. Um, hang on, species Scyther, species Genesect. There we go. This guy's in. Um, the fifth is you, but the champ of the elite five. Um, I don't. So that does kind of. So I'm kind of going the route of Paldia. Like it didn't do much good, but one thing it does well is the idea of champion ranks, and I like that idea. So I was going to have a champion rank come up quite a lot, especially in the post game where you can hunt down. And I'm thinking about having like master trainers around, like mastering each type. Make sands if you can, please. It for the meme. Uh, I I can make sands. Uh, I won't do it tonight because that's about two hours work, and I've only got about an hour or so left of streaming. And I need to get the bloody um, trainer done. But why is everyone so obsessed with sands being added everywhere? Like, I get it; it's meant to be a good game, but does it need to be in everything? Okay, tomorrow it won't be tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm releasing the, the demo too, uh, and I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'll add it into my list. I'll add it into like, like number 167. <laughs> but I'll, I'll try and... That's the second time Sans has come up. So I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll write up it up higher. But we can add Sans as a character. Oh, this is going to suck. There's six encounters for the hard mode battle. After post game, maybe make it so Jim, like, fan fame Pokemon that Jim. <laughs> so this has come out a, a lot. A lot of people want to have your own gym. It's a lot of work uh, to do something. I can do a very basic one, but you're better off doing it playing my gym and mine. There's like there's games that let you do that. If I try to do it, I would I would end up half assing it just to make it playable, or you'd end up with like you'd end up with like I'd be spending loads of time making a small piece of code. Um, when that would be better suited for its own game like maybe we could but you're limited on the size of this and i, I feel like we'd be doing that would add up so much into itself 
maybe we can try it as an expansion uh, in the post game but I wouldn't hold our breath I sent you a, can you send me the name software as a stream yeah I, I can reply just say like what, what programs do you use if you google decompiled emeralds there should be some guides on there we'll find it um because that's what i'm using i'm using pokemon emerald decompiled uh, if you go to the github page it'll have everything you need on there decompiled emeralds yeah that's not the program that's the code that's all of the, all of these files here are like the decompiled emerald pieces for it that is spell it yeah or emerald decomp um you, you you'll be able to find it um Text may want to battle. Okay, so I need to change up this script. Basically, the code here uh, is doing that, and there should be one called Battle Brandon. Brendan. Yeah, there is. So these scripts are called. But I need to adjust them to have hard mode. So I need to recreate them in our own scripting language. Um, okay, I will send next stream, but I'll I'll come back. Next stream will be next Thursday. No, next Wednesday, but I won't be coding. I'll be coding next Thursday. Because I'll probably be hung over this weekend after the rugby. Um, but uh, thanks for popping in. See you later. Latio, Latios, I'm not going to be coding the Latios Latias this week because it's late game stuff. But yeah, um, I'll remember. Uh, we got text file scripts. Here's our scripts. So basically, we've got these two scripts, which we just want to recreate. Um, and the nice thing is, ninety percent of the work's done. So message box default. We want to do which. Um, I think it is just the same boy script. Which which statement? Um, uh, I do have to do var var start them on. And yes, and then we do case a zero case one case two. Um, and then we get call I suppose city of Entrico call Rustro event Torchic. Yeah, so that is so that's the script in Poi script. That's the difference between the two. Um and we can just dupe this. We're not gonna dupe it yet. But we wanna do if um var um no Flag, flag, hard mode. On. We want to do this again. But we're going to add hard mode. We need to make four hard mode. To, we need to make. Uh, does it have the same Pokemon? Are, are we, uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Um, and then else and I'm, I'm going to do if not flag flag hard mode if not we'll use all of this code brilliant and then we've got to duplicate all of this for um the brendan fight annoyingly because it's the way it's done, I can't just duplicate it over. There. What are we working at the moment? We are working on hard mode May. 
and Brendan. So the hard mode rival fights in Maspero. Um, if you uh, if you're a member or not, um, you Rusbro, hang on. Oh, I forgot to add the trainer in. Um, bug catcher. We did make a new trainer as well, which I need to actually add into the game. Grips. Um, normal D3. There we go. Um, we go to Rusbro. This N here is your rival. So when you leave the town um, here, it tries to battle your rival. So we want to add hard mode in. Obviously, it, it's something that should have a difficulty mode. Um, Zach Far, thank you for liking the uh, liking the live. Welcome in. I think that was a thousand like you absolute boss. You, you are the boss man tonight. Um, so yes, yeah, so we need to create all of these, which is going to be brutal because it's six train, six battles. Because it varies based on if you're male or female and which starter you chose. So I guess we just get started. So opponents. Um, Petalberg. Uh, was it Rico? Oh no, so we... Oh, we've got to do even more. We've got to duplicate all of those scripts as well. I might be able to do this in one. So let's have a look. So they've done it that way, which is fine. So they've got a trainer battle, no intro. We do a trainer battle, no intro. We can pop it in there. And we can set the flag. Go to that. That works. There's a oh, there's a May Briny hint. Does that mean there's a Brendan Briny hint? Brendan Briny. Go to yes, there is. So it's identical for or the male character. This, this code. You ever heard of someone talking about code stink? This is code stink. It's not good. Um, I'm probably refactor this. Maybe might refactor this off stream, but for now we just want a functional code. Um, because this is we got lots of uh, we're breaking. A lot of rules of coding here. Hard mode. I'll do that. Um, I can compare it to the order above, which is fine. Yep, and then the May one, we're going to do the same. Take that, and we want to go boom, boom. Gorgeous. 
Not gorgeous, but mm, you know. Thing for some. So hard. That's our hard mode encounter. This is Orchic hard mode. This is Mudkip hard mode. And we can do the same and overwrite that. This is Orchic. We go here. Ah. I was expecting to see them all next to each other. That's fine. So we want to create all of these trainers. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Rico, hard mode. Four chick. Hard mode, mudkip, hard mode. Then we need May. Or chick, hard mode. Rico, hard mode. A five, six. I'm very glad I extended the number of trainers we had now. Uh, what's in this hard mode? Um, no problem, Scott. Sorry, I just saw I missed your messages three minutes ago. So uh, the difference with hard mode is it's an option the player can set, and it just gives an option for the game to be more difficult. Uh, the main th the main difference is all, all the gyms will be like not all trainers have a hard mode, but the ones that do are just we are upping their difficulty. You'll find they'll have less forgiving moves so they'll probably have the best moves they can have um on that level and access to like tm moves and egg moves and stuff they normally wouldn't have akuro thanks for the like bud um they will also have held items to sort of coincide with their build um so you might have beneficial held items they will also have better when i change it they'll have like better abilities and maybe hidden abilities and like ivs and evs to to, to fit You'll find they have a lot bit better coverage. So if we go to, um, and they also got like, to be close to the level cap and stuff. So Roxanne here. So we've got Roxanne hard move, hard mode. She has a full team of six Pokemon. They're all level fifteen, which is the level cap if you turn it on. See, Aaron's got Berry Juice, Metal Claw, Rock Tomb, Raw Stealth Rocks. So it sets up rocks. And a riff of Aerial Ace, Bug Bite, Smackdown, Stealth Rock as well. Um, this one needs fixing. But yeah, you see, Nose Pass is Spark. Battle with Water Pokemon. Your dude's got that Defense Curl rollout moves. Got Rock Rock with a Rock Gem. And Trail Braze and stuff to speed it up. Um, playing Pokesnaps, I've been cool. If you can add a cave with Illumia Steel. I'd love to add more Illumia. I might add Illumia people. But we're not Steelix. We've got Crystal Steelix and stuff. Um, I've like actually got a lot of love. But def I do want to... I do want to look at buffing. Um, I definitely want to buff uh, Meganium. So maybe Illumium Meganium would be great. Uh, cheeky favor, but I'm going to be... Am I able to be in the game? If my, if you send me character sprites, then yes, you can be in the game. Um, of course you can. I'm more than happy to add... If anyone sends me sprites and stuff, I will do my best to add them into the game. Um, if you do them within the limits uh, of like the game, it makes it so much easier for me to drop it in. Uh, are you going to try and mess around with the move selection logic character? Say, yeah. So we're currently on an older version of the um, of, of the engine. In the modern en there's a much better version of the engine, uh, which I am going to add. One. Uh, but with that, 
it comes with some like really cool AI. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I will eventually, I'm going to add that in and use sort of better things. So currently I'll show you the flags we have. They're kind of limited. Um, you see like normally, to, so, so here's a vanilla one. So vanilla Torchic or May. Um, so she has the flags, check for bad move, try to faint and check viability. Those flags are quite decent. So bad move just checks like, rates the moves if they're bad so it's not going to use a water move on a water pokemon try the faint is going to check like if it finds a move that's going to knock out your pokemon it will use that as soon as it finds one, like that'll work check viability that's um will then try and prioritize uh a super effective move over a normal super move um but then it's got no item and default moves that means the party um they don't have any held items and default moves means it just has the moves that it would learn up for that. So imagine so when it's got default moves, it's the same as how wild Pokemon work. Is it just picks it just goes from like, okay, it's level 42. What moves does it know? And it would just take the top four moves. So if it learns a move at 42, 1, 40, and 39, for example, it would take those four moves. Anything before that it ignores. And default moves has that. It just gives it around. So if you want a quick battle where you don't really care about the moves, that we use it uses the default moves. Hard mode, what we're actually going to do is we're going to change this to item and custom moves. And this is, again, why I want to upgrade the engine, because... Um, um, again, it's because this is... Uh, it's really tedious to have these different... These different methods, which take different attributes, when... You be, the, the, the new one just takes... You can use the same method, and it just picks and chooses depending on the attributes. You pass it on on the other side. Um, you, uh, imagine Cynthia hard mode she's dragging to a glass jump before we have added we have added in um, Cynthia and yeah that's the flags if we go to the flags here um, define the flags these are the flags that are in the game at the moment and there's not there's a, there's quite a few uh, but the main ones you got these are the default ones um, so you got like HP aware it's aware of, like the hit points it's got prefers strong so it'll go for higher moves risky it, it tends not to heal so much. Set up first turn, that's when it uses Dragon Dance. Um, bat and Pass, obviously battle pa uh, Bat and Pass teams. Um, AI Flag will Suicide, so this will use Explosion. Um, and Aware, so this means it doesn't know what's going on. It's a, like a dumb one. Help, help Partner will use Helping Hand. Prefer status Move, Will-O-Wisp over other things. Storm or Healing, Set up Screens. And then these are some sort of other ones. We've got smart switching ace pokemon omniscient omniscient means yeah ai has full knowledge of player moves ability and so it knows your stuff um smart switching is sense to be useful one um and there's a few others for like some other pieces but um we'll uh, we can look at i've tried to add some custom ones but it's, it's kind of awkward um you gotta do a lot of things to make it work Okay. Hard mode. So now I need to... But yeah, so if you guys have ideas on how we can turn these into hard mode. So this is post the first gym. You've got six Pokemon. They're going to have six Pokemon. Level caps. Maybe we'll put it just above level caps. So it's like 16, 17. Does it work per Pokemon level or per trainer? Uh, it's per trainer. So you define the trainer as these. So this is the method we have at the moment. And this is basically what defines a trainer. So you give it a class. Classes are used to pick the animation on startup. Um, so you know, like Aqua have that like cool logo appears. It also defines on how much money you get from beating them. Um, you pick the music. Uh, what picture they have, like Sprite. What's their name? Do they have any items? Like they can use up to four items in battle. That's here. Is it a double battle? And what AI flags? And then what party? And that, that's pretty much it. It gives you a nice, easy thing. And when you come into here, you get your... your it looks like this. So you pick the IVs, which is a 255, which is horrible. Again, this is going to change in the new latest version. Um, what level is it? What species, held item, and the moves. 
Um, the new version's got stuff like abilities and nature and EVs and IVs. So I want to, I want to update. Ground on, ground on will solo, yes. Very easily will ground on solo. Namely because we're level 15 here. Uh, so, like, May Rustboro. I'm going to zoom out just so we can see more, but... We got May Rustboro Mudkip, Rustboro Torchic. And we're just gonna throw these all down here. And I wanna put that next to Tanner so we have it here. Um May Rustboro That's Mudkip, Trico Torchic. I've been so used to playing hard mode. I forget how much of a bitch. The normal game Pokemon are. There we go. Um, okay, I need to do a couple of things here. So we need we we want Mon and we want custom moves because this is hard mode. We want it to be challenge. And if people will, when people start playing it and they tell me it's too easy, then I'm going to make it harder. If they say it's still too easy, then we'll make it a little bit harder. And if they think it's easy after that, then, well, that's fair enough. It, we don't want it to be. They're probably just a good player. So now the question is, how nice do we want to be to the player? Do we want to give access to just like everything or do we want the rival to be running parallel so they can only access Pokemon you've currently accessed? I'm going to pee, actually, and then we'll uh, take a think. Hello there. Alex, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I wasn't Yeah, I was just taking a waz. I might prefer the view. My my new office. Okay, hard mode. Will the advanced AI also apply to legendary battles? Uh, legendary battles have their own AI. Um but we can do something else with legendary battles. Um so uh, I'll, I'll show you. So let me just say legendary battle. Uh, what we can do in a legendary battle is, um, and I use this a lot in my other game, is you do, so normally when you create a battle, it's like apply wild, bit. do wild, no, do wild battle does it. Uh, yes, apply wild battle. And then you pick the Pokemon. So let's say we want to pick a Latias. Make it level 50 and give it item sold you. Um, what we can do on top of that is do Totem Boost. And then you say like Pokemon 1, give it a, a boost. Uh, ta attack, defense, speed, special attack, special defense, accuracy, evasion. And at the start of the game, it will give it 
and it's starting to battle boost it two, two times. So you can have these up to six. So that, I think, is the best way to do legendary battles, and it just gives them absolute... It still has dumb AI, but yeah. Yeah, the AI isn't as good. We could possibly have a look at doing it. Uh, but if we look at species requires uh, uh, um, mega, I've added in here. That's a set one, but so here is a mega requires with a life orb. Um, so yeah, so we have got that. And if we wanted to do it, we could do like set totem boost. Um, and give it two attack, um, two defense, two speed, two attack, to do, to do, and it will be pretty tough, pretty tough. Let's leave that in. Why not? Let's do anyone who gets there. Uh, we could look at improving the. Maybe we could look at improving wild AI because it's it's not not great at the moment. I I do see that as a slight issue. Um, okay, so it looks a uh, tone boost mega uh, uh, Yeah, it will. So I've got another ROM hack I'm working on, and uh, it, it's 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 a lot more uh, uh, like ex exploration based, and that has you can't catch legendary Pokemon like you don't catch them in the normal way. You don't throw balls at them. You can't run once you start the fight. You can't run from them. They all get tone boosted. And you can't use items in the. Uh, they can't. Yes, you can't catch them. You can't run from them, uh, but you get you get them after beating them. That's why I'm knocking my microphone. Once you've beaten them, uh, they just they, they just like bad and you get them. Um, but they were also above level cap. Like Arceus is level 125. The player can only get to level 100. But Arceus is level 125 and so on. Um, yeah, easy, easy to destroy everything. Hey, and NC Hayden, but you'll be glad to know we got the bone zone working. I got it. Well, I say we. We. I did it uh, before stream. Um, so we now have the bone zone. There's a slight video of it in the uh, Discord. I popped in. But we're just working on the hard mode for. We're working on the hard mode for the rival battle. And pretty much what we want to look at is five. We want to look at six Pokemon. Turn my mic. We got six Pokemon. We're going to change the water, grass, and fire type depending if they got the starter or not. So, and then we can just we can just duplicate it across actually. So let's do that. Um, so let's just create one. Uh, this is this is Mudkip. This is the the player's bit Mudkip. So you've just beaten the gym. So let's say level sixteen. You're gonna have two hundred IVs again. This is gonna change. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tab this out, just so we remember, and let's zoom in so you guys can see better. There we go. Um, let's close the console. There you go. You should be able to see quite well. So we got a held item. I'm just gonna do item none for now. And then moves, which uh, look like that. Brilliant. So, what are we thinking for the six Pokemon the rivals will have? So they run with Wingull, Lotad. The default ones is Wingull, Lotad, and Slugma. Could be all right. Could use this as a base. Um... So that's our water, that's our grass water, that's our grass, and this is our fire type. I am really enjoying this gin. Um, I might have to get another gin. On top of this, those are these aren't the start. no, 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 these aren't the starters. Um, so we've got six encounters to do, and it's your, uh, for the rival fight in Rustboro. And... The rival and Rustboro will have the starter Pokemon and then one other. And we have David, thank you for following. Welcome in, bud. Like, so if you pick um, Trico, they'll have a Torchic and a Lotad. You pick 
Or coal. That can't be right. That can't be right. I think it's going to be slugma. That seems ridiculous. Uh, but like you picked the gra the grass one, they have fire. Um, yeah. So these are the so the main Pokemon they've got is the starter, and then these two to pick from. I don't remember. You're joking. May Rusbro Torchic. That's got to be a. Torkoal. I don't know. It, it's there. Did I accidentally change something? I need. I need to. I need to look. Google this. Hang on. Hang on. She does not have a Torkoal. If you pick Torchic, this is if you pick Torchic. They have a Torkoal. This is this code is saying. Um, Rustboro City. Yeah. Could could do Torco, that would be kind of funny. This is it. I I, I recognise it as Slugma. And if we go to May Rustboro, like Lota, Torco, Wingo. Or is it Brendan has a Yeah, Brendan has a Slugma. Here we go. So I've got it open. So with if you pay a pick Torchic, I'm on Bobopedia. No, that's true. That is, yeah. If the player picks Torchic, if you pick the gut, if you pick, if you play as May, Brendan has a Slugma. If you play as Brendan, so you pick the male character, she has a Torkoal. They have the same moves. Oh, no, they don't. So Torkoal has Ember, Smog, and Curse. Slugma has Yawn, Smog, Ember. Hey, Silvana, how you doing? Welcome on in. Um, I did not know she had a talk. I've played this. I have not played this game in years, like vanilla. I kind of like that. And I feel like they're both going to have a talk on now. Base 140 defense this early on seems ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm on Twitch too. Uh, anyone who's watching and part of our Discord, you should uh, you should be able to learn level ups or the server through our Twitch as well. So we've added a new level up system into our Discord. Um, it doesn't do much at the moment, but it will do. But it's quite cool. It's so conf what's confusing the, this this Torco thing. I'm I'm so I did not realise you had a Torco. Everyone's gonna have a Torco now. Not everyone, but but yeah, I'm on I am on Twitch and I am on YouTube and stuff. But yeah, it's um. Annoyingly, I haven't got my camera working on Twitch and YouTube yet. If anyone knows a program which can cut out the background of a camera, so obviously you guys watching me on TikTok see me waving around with my branded T-shirt, uh, but I've got no background, which is done by the TikTok app, which is brilliant. But I can't then push that into OBS to send over to Roostream. If anyone knows a program which does that, that's awesome. Um, yeah, if you like, but you can also just turn your phone sideways or you can connect to TikTok on um, browser as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's not going to have slug. We're going to have Torkoal. Let's make this hard. Let's work on the, yeah, let's work on the Torkoal. This Torkoal could end up being brutal. Um, so the one in game doesn't have a held item. And then he has default moves. But let's... How should we use Torkoal? Do not want to do a pole bugger off. Torkoal, Smogan. I don't want to use... Smogan's just a useful way to... It's going to be like Smogan... Um, it, not, not let's say... It's, it, I call this VSG. And this is... It's basically every... Pretty much 90% of the changes in this game were made by viewer suggestions. So we like have a guy here who's got no we've got red in, we've got leaf, we've got bigger cities, we've got places from the anime. So this is Anthony's gym, another anime only place, like more roots and player like viewer trainers. Um but one person said let's add in hard mode. So when you join the game you can choose to play in hard mode. Um, so not, you can play vanilla, um, and you'll be fine. And th like some of the trains are going to be 
quite weak. Some of the trainers need nerfing, but my custom trainers. Um, but overall, but when you're doing hard mode, we are going to be like bullying of players. No worries, welcome back. Trying to work out. Trying to work out what uh, moves and stuff to do for Torkoal. So it can rapid sprint, it can clear, it can clear smog, it can smoke screen. It can ancient power? Would ancient power be too mean, or would that be kind of brilliant? Um. What's its special? Special attack is 85. Ancient powers for 8. I, I can't believe this is there. I guess it's got crap moves, but it is it is hard mode. If you guys complain, then that's fine. Uh, so ancient power. Clear smog. Um, it is very slow. It's very slow. So giving it rapid spin is not worth Doing. I'm gonna do smoke screen as well because if it uses smoke smoke screen, that's that's just mean. We got rock. I'm gonna need a fire move to give it stab. I didn't. I did. It's an egg move. I can learn it through egg move. Uh, talk about learns fanning vibe reading. Adding yourself into the game. Do you need all of the sprites left, right, up, and down? Um, don't have to. If if you give me all of them. Um, so I, if you, I, I can show you what they look like, but if you give me all of them, then it means you can look around, and I can make you walk and stuff. If you just give me facing down, then I'll put you in somewhere where you you, you just won't turn around. Um, at the same time, um, yeah, but yeah, uh, but hard mode is supposed to be yeah, it's supposed to be hard, but there's also like hard, like I could be mean and just be like putting like really powerful Pokemon early on. It, it it's making it. More challenging, but then see. make a mystery TM. What's a mystery TM machine? Like metronome, or just like it teaches a random TM. Uh, makes sense. I don't ever. I've never used mm, Torco. Torco has uses, but I've never used Torco. And to be honest, I've played less and less competitive Pokemon lately. Um, move fire spin, a weak fire move, but it's also going to cause insane pain. Uh, which item should we use? What item would be good for Torkoal? I just love the idea of the... Is there like... There's a binding item, isn't it? That work with Fire Spin. Uh, Pokemon binding item, binding band. Increases the uh, causes binding moves to cause. Okay, is fire spin a binding move? It is. So we can give it a binding band. Uh, makes it deal one eighth damage rather. It doubles the damage from it. Item binding band. That's a bit mean. Um, did I swear down? Realized Pokédex. He's making his own Pokemon game. I've, I've seen he's been making his own Pokemon game too, but he's using um, the other one because I keep seeing him when I go through. He's been like, like constantly live. Orion, thank you for the share, bud. I need to Google Torkoal because it's portal in my language. What language do you speak, David? Uh, make a trainer called Alejandro. I can make a trainer what, called Alejandro? Of course I can. Where where, and what? Uh, custom Monty. Yeah, RPG Maker. RPG Maker XP, I've got it. it. It makes things so much easier for like doing certain things. But at the same time, stuff. Europe. Europe isn't a country. I'm also from Europe. And it's talk on in my country. Okay. Yeah, he's quite good at doing uh, drawing as well, which is the benefit he has. Um, I'm guessing he's from uh, Germany because they have lots of cool names. Okay, there you go, Germany. What Gen remake is this? This is Gen 3. 
Um, so we have Pokemon Emerald Decomp, although we're using Expanded Emerald. Um, and this this game is just based in Hoenn. Uh, we have up up to Gen Eight Pokemon, but we're gonna have a Gen Nine very very soon. Um, so we got Torco. Yeah, I I love the German names for Pokemon. Oh, is, it, oh, is it Snorlax? Is Relaxo or something? It's they're brilliant. Uh, put Alandro just outside of Little Root Town. You want uh and do. Uh how about in this new route? We'll pop in Alejandro over here. Um I'll save that and we'll we'll add that script in later when we've done the other thing. Well yes, yeah, so I'm British. I'm from uh yeah, I'm from, I'm from south of England. Is it home and deck study? Nope, it's up to Gen 8. Uh Gen 9 will be between Gen between Gym 2 uh, demo 2 and demo 3. I'm gonna update to the uh I'm gonna update to include Gen 9 Pokemon. It's gonna be a pain because it's gonna break a lot of code. It's gonna break like all the custom mons I've added. Um Okay, species Torkoal. I like the idea of your rival using Hoenn Pokemon or po Hoenn Dex Pokemon, like the May Brendam. Just keeps it in line with that. Uh, do you have a Gen Four Pokemon? Yeah, no, depends what your class is. A lot. Um, we're working on it. Uh, if I show you in game, so this is Route One Hundred One. Well, this is Route 102, sorry. Um, and this has vanilla Pokemon onto it. But you'll find there's cut little areas next to it. So once you get cut, you can come down here, which is what I've called Route 101 Extended. And this has later Pokemon. So Pidov, Pidu, Pidov, Bidoof, Combi, Rookie, Bulbasaur, and so on. Um, playing X right now. And the Fairy Gym is so confusing. Is there a Fairy Gym? I thought... I actually can't remember X and Y um, at all. And yeah, so you can see a lot of Pokemon that you normally don't find in Hoenn are in these custom areas. And you, you'll be able to tell quite quickly where the custom um, areas are. Basically, if you don't recognize it in Ho as Hoenn, um, like over here, or up here, they will have non-gen Pokemon in. I, I'm trying to remember X and Y. The last time I played it, I did a Nuzlocke, and that was over a year ago. I oh, know we did a randomizer. It wasn't Nuzlocke. I hate randomizers. They're just... I just don't find them fun. Especially when we ended up... Because the water panels just always go left. If you can't go left, go up. That's how I do them. I made a water panel gym. Uh, it was really annoying to make. Quick, but easy. Quick, so quick, but annoying, sorry. Um, right, so, sticking to the thing. What grass Pokemon are available in... I think we should have a Shroomish as the grass Pokemon. Um, really want to play Stellaris listening to this music. Uh, by... If we do Shroomish as the grass... I want to see what level it evolves at. I think it's like 22. 23. I was off by one. Um, it means they can have a... Later on, they can have a... Breloom. Shroomish, Shroomish is solid Pokemon. Um, it gets Mega Drain. Headbutt. Uh, what's its stats? 40 attack, 40 special attack. It's not the most powerful. The gland it returned in SV. Yeah, I, I honestly I don't I don't remember SV much. I I have beaten it, but after getting the living decks and X and Y and Sun and Moon, I sort of gave up doing all the catching everything. I do like Brelum though. It's it's it, it's got decent. It, it's it's in a decent point of like got some it's fun use and stuff. It doesn't get sport to level forty. 
uh, kind of weak actually this thing i haven't played this for, it, it's 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 not bad i th i think it's overhated like it's got massive problems in terms of um the way it runs um move head but the, the way it runs uh graphically it looks shit um and the world design is poor but it's an enjoyable game it's as a casual going in and just playing the, the three stories in the post game or i say the post game the post event isn't too bad um the issue i have with the game overall is is it after you've beaten the main game there's no reason to play it anymore where can i send send them to me over on discord it's the best way um yeah when, when you've beaten the game you have the star tournament which is a waste of time um genic 4 which is just weaker than the star tournament and they tease you so like you do just re rematches with the gyms but that's not a thing that's just a one-off and the, the world is it's it, there's no reason to explore it like there's not many secrets to it. There's there's one secret in each area which is pretty cool for the, some of the legendaries, but that otherwise there's the caves that you go in and you go to the edge of them and you'll catch by me. You don't need to get all the depth all the way deep into it. Last good gen in my was it's Gen Seven. Gen Gen Seven was the last. I don't know. Gen Seven was the was okay. I said the last good gen was gen 5. Like gen 6 and 7 were okay. But they set the problems um, that the future games had. Gen 6 going into 3D led towards linear uh, map designs. Um, the, 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 the map is very boring. There's no reason to explore. Like, um, like There was a few caves like Zygon and stuff, but... The problem with Gen 6 is it, it is unfinished. They showed you areas which in like a Gen 1, or 2, 3, or any of the previous Gens would have been areas like the power plant. You'd have gone to that in, in a previous game. These caves would have had something to do in, in the earlier games because they were adventure games first. Like the, the Pokemon wasn't a genre. It was, it was a RPG turn-based adventure game. And the first five Gens really had you adventuring around the map. Gen 6 took that away. And then it also gave a really lazy post game. I thought, oh, we got competitive, so we'll just make it easy to do competitive, which was quite nice. But then Gen 7 just copied the post game from Gen 6. Like it was, I think the Battle Maison was just there and there was bugger all that else to do. And then from there, it's like, if, unless you want to play competitive, there's nothing to do in a Pokemon game. All, you, all they want you to do is like repeat the raids over and over again. And, I don't want to repeat raids and raids just to get the shiny Pokemon or, or farm stuff. It's like I don't play Pokemon to play an MMO. If I want to play a grindy game, I'll, I'll play an MMO. I want to play Pokemon to explore a place and dive into a cave and find something cool, like like going through Meteor Falls or Waterfall and finding Bagon. That's cool. Going through this cave that was previously locked and finding Mewtwo. Going through these areas which you don't have to go to, like going off the park in Victory Road and finding Moltres, going to a new area and finding Zapdos, that is gone. That has they haven't had that since Gen Five. Um, uh, Padilla gets almost wholly explored during the three. They, they, they're not they're, each storyline is more of like a side quest though. They're pretty, they're they're they're, they're fun, but I I hated pe the the Team Star one was a waste of time. Like we have to have an evil team, but we haven't had an evil team since Gen six oh, no, yeah. yeah gen six was the last time you had a real evil team gen seven was a bit ham-fisted gen eight one was terrible just have a antagonistic team and that was horrendous um yeah we can give alejandro guarantee shiny i'll look at it i i 100 agree i can go off on open world games like you slap open world on uh, so many people now so slap open world on the game and call it a day like and i i, I know i'm working on making this an open world game um but that's just sort of a, that's a more of a technical proof of concept than an actual like design. Like in my other game, lots of can I can it be open? It's like no, it's I want it to be linear. A linear game is nine times out of ten. A linear game is better than an open world game because the designers have curated the experience for the player. When you do an open world game, um, like, let's take an amazing open world game like um, Breath of the Wild. Uh, a sort of a modern one 
what to make it interesting they spam things all over the world for you to intrigue you um and they use so you use like the, the world has to tell the story and it works in very barren games like breath of the wild and fallout's another great example um like you're going around each area is sort of separated um and like some games like fallout and skyrim that do this you're you've got limited maneuverability so they can sort of guarantee which way you're coming in like in and out um so they can still create linear experiences which they can curate breath of the wild went away from this because they gave you so many ways to reverse it became a lot more difficult to create a enjoyable experience for the player that you could balance it around um like take it take into some linear games like halo 2 is one of my favorite games it's um there's moments in halo 2 which people just won't forget if they've played it like a second level doing sniper alley going through the the final room to take on the bomb in the first level uh getting your tank and going through like because it's like linear corridors and everything sort of yeah you can skip it and stuff but doing the linear playthrough it gives you moments which you can remember and you can talk about to your friends when you're doing open world you can't have you don't have that correlation as much and this is what i find with pokemon it's like it works well as this linear game where you're going around one way and i, I like the old legend of Zelda of that like you unlock the world as you go and there's places to explore on the side but you've got that critical path uh, which which is leads everything and each of those areas because the designer knows where everything's coming from they can plan it and give a good experience to the player whereas if you just say oh open world and it, it becomes very much a lazy thing um that it just doesn't work i just don't think it works for pokemon because because you no longer have to explore to catch Pokemon. You're just catching Pokemon as quick as you can to get online or do raids as fast as you can. That seems to be the, the current game for it. Um, but right, anyway, let's sort out Shroomish before I complain more about modern game development. Uh, so what we got? We've got Headbutt. We've got Mega Drain. Leech Seed. Um, Headbutt, Mega Drain, Leech Seed. Uh, I'm going to give a left... I don't want to give it leftovers. Something else would be better with leftovers. Maybe give it Munchlax or something. Uh, I took a 10-minute route twice because I got mixed up at that part. Uh, what's your favourite? My favourite gen is probably 3. I never... I have played Gen 5, but... It was at the time I wasn't overly into Pokemon, so I sort of struggled with it. But it's Gen 3 for me. Um, Gen 4. Gen 4 I played. I played Platinum and I played Diamond. But Gen 4, when I played it the first time, I just didn't like... I don't like Sinnoh. Sinnoh is... Uh, thanks for the likes, Nathan. Oh, so I've just seen some. I always found that RSC that rivals stops being a rival after Lily Cove. They appear again in yeah, that's it. Lily Cove's the last time you see them. I do think I want to add them more. Yeah, it, it's they sort of replaced them with Wally. It was a bit weird. Um, yeah, Gen Four. I don't like Sino. I don't like um, Mount Sino in the middle. It's it's horrible. It's 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 a bitch to traverse, and it's not very clear where you have to go. The Sino Dex was, yeah. And then you get to the post game area, which is just a big circle. But, oh, okay. Um, it also added too many legendaries. Um, can I send DM or. So if you send them, in, send them into the server, uh, you, can, you can do DM or server. If you put them in the server, obviously people might comment on them. But you can generate a conversation with it or you send it directly. Gil Rival just knock off Alola. I like Hop over the Alola Rival because Hop has a story. Um, which is really well. It was just told really well. He, he he embodies this like the the core story they do in Pokemon, which is you know using Pokemon that you love. I know it's not something that people do, but as he's going through, like he uses his, he, he uses his Wooloo and his Star and like he catches these early game Pokemon, and then he keeps losing, gets annoyed, and he gets frustrated with himself. So he starts changing his Pokemon, and he becomes a bit easier. 
Um, but then he comes back and with his like, and then he realizes actually he used the Pokemon you love, and he comes back with like dub wall and he starts like, yeah, but you you're using the Pokemon that you've you've grown with, and I love that. Whereas um, the Lonely Guy is just boring, pops in. Right, Gen three is the best because it gives you loads to explore. Um, like when I was a kid, um, I I used to like switching between the two uh, bikes and going up here to make i like to making my hidden bases as far as i can like uh finding all the items going into these like, explores when i first played it obviously there was no internet well, there was internet but i didn't have access really to the internet when i was playing it and i was like 11 like 20 odd years ago when it came out um so trying to doing this over and over again pocky thank you for the follow hey game is down how, how you doing good morning to you good evening from me like trying to do this for the first time and like the first time i Ended up here. I was like, oh, there's a dive point. So I quickly teleport, uh, flew back, and then went under here, and then got the Braille book out and working out all that. That was amazing. Like real going around and trying to explore these places. It's is 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 what I think Owen did so well. Um, and like obviously I didn't play Emerald when I was young. I didn't play thing, but when Sky Pillar appears suddenly for the first time, it's great. Uh, Gen 3 Death of the Explosion World, the bikes and dying. Yeah. Um, it, it, it was the last... It was really, really good at that. Is this going to be my game? Yeah, this is uh, this is the what we're calling VSG. This is a vis, vis, viewer suggestion game. We're slowly adding in, like, suggestions. You so here, example, this is um, how you get into... Uh, what should we call it? That's uh, Naval Rock. Um... And then, like, yeah, so we're slowly adding in all of the uh, suggestions you guys make. And what I really want to do is that, that it's core principle of Emerald is trying to keep that exploration there. So you can see we're adding all these new areas um, for you to explore um, and making the map bigger. So you've got this new area up here where you can get Lapras. Um, uh, this new this new expanded Duford. You know, you can come into the Crystal Caves and... This is going to lead into a Crosma, but you're not just going to be force-fed these legendaries. You've got to go out and find them. Um, and this is the same way I'm designing my other Pokemon game. It's a big open world. Like, when I say open world, I don't mean like you can go anywhere. Like it's it's lots to explore. You've got the critical path, but as you're going through, you're seeing lots of things. Um, I spoke about it a lot yesterday, so I don't want to repeat myself. Can you try a trainer called Oog with a full legendary team 100, which appears at starter zone once you beat the game? Uh, yes, I'm not going to do it tonight because I've been rambling on and I still haven't finished what I tried to do tonight. Um, but trainer called Oog with full level 100 legendary team arrives after you beat E4 in Little Root. Yeah, there we go. How do you download it? Buy it? You do not buy it. If anyone's ever trying to sell you any of my games, um, do not do not pay for it. Um, it's a scam. I will never charge for my games, like for you to play my games. Um, they will all be available on our Discord. Um, once they're finished, they're going to be available in other places. I'm going to set up a website as well um, and do it there. But no, it, you never pay for it. You shouldn't be paying for. Um, you shouldn't be buying them. Uh, it's one one I can't sell ROMs because uh, it's illegal. Because I don't own the rights to Pokemon, I'd get in big trouble. Um, you can, you can commission me to make a game. I can I can make a game for you, but I can't sell it. Sell it. Um, no, it's available currently on our Discord. Uh, demo the second demo I'm going to drop tomorrow um, for us to play, and that's what I'm just trying to finish off the last bits for. Are you going to add all generations of this game to when requested? We have up to generation eight. I'm going to update to generation nine next. Uh, thanks for popping in, David. It's good to see you. Thank you for taking time to make game his heroes. Um, no, thank you. I, I enjoy I enjoy making the game. Appreciate the rose. All of that stuff will, all of the gifts and subs and stuff will go to charity. Um, I need. I, I'm just about to sort out all the charity stuff we're doing, uh, but I'm going to do some charity streams soon as well. I want to do a 24 hour charity stream where I just make the whole game and stuff. <laughs> but um <laughs> but thank you uh very much for all of that yeah um do you remember to block off the 
half left of the first. Yes, I fixed that. Uh, Giorgio. <laughs> As I mentioned, the servers let me upload photos. Where else? Oh, um, I'll sort that in a bit. Orange. Uh, what am I using to make this with? But then no, again, thanks for all the gifts. Um, I will sort. I need to get my finger out and sort out the charity stuff. It's all sat in. It's sat there doing nothing for now. Um, I am using Poi Maps. Make the maps. Um, and I'm using uh, E. Thanks for the follow. Uh, and I'm using Visual Studio Code for the code. If you search Pokemon Decomp or Decompiled Emerald, you'll be able to find a GitHub with all the code on. And from there, you can just use whichever IDE you use. I use Visual Studio Code because it's quick and easy, lightweight, um, and doing this. Uh, Orange Bloom, if you just drop me a message in the Discord, I'll do it after the stream. But I can't, I'm not looking at Discord at the moment. But I'll be able to uh, accept a message from you. Um, but yeah, so the goal of what I just want to do before we finish the stream is I want to make the hard mode for uh, the rival battle in Rust, bro. Rob, if you give me perms to fix it, I can fix now. Uh, you have got perms. Oh, no, you haven't. I, I, no, I turned off. Uh, I turned off embeds for a reason. You can get embeds once you're level five on the server, um, and you get levels quite easily. You can get it from what you like. If you put us like on Twitch and stuff, you'll get it. Um, I've been playing around for RPG Maker. So I wouldn't say better. I would say different. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. I have RPG Maker myself, um, but I personally prefer using Decomp mainly because with Decomp, it's using a programming language which i understand because i, I program in it is more professionally um the main difference between rpg maker and um uh, decomp is in decomp you actually end up with a rom file a game boy file which i can play on an emulator which means you can play it on anything which i think is amazing with rpg maker you end up with an executable which is only playable on computers which is awesome as well, but it's I find them a bit slow and a bit more annoying when I play them. But what you can do, you can do a lot more stuff with RPG Maker because it has the freedom and it doesn't have the limitations that a ROM has. So when I'm doing decomp, I'm limited to the hardware of Pokemon Emerald and the, the times of 20 years ago. Yeah, I well not so much, but I can do more now. But like the game is literally 32 megabytes big. Um, if I want to add anything, I'm limited to technology. So adding a sprite isn't as much as I can't just drop in a JPEG. I have to convert it into a bitmap and then I have to make a palette for it. And same with music. You've got to turn it into a MIDI and then you've got to create the uh, a script to say which uh, uh, instruments are you using and so on. Um, like there, there's a physical limit on how many things I can add because it's got it all compiled down to 32 megabytes it does make things a bit more frustrating um but i like i like that hey mason but if you if you just want to make a quick game and you don't really care about all the ins and outs then i would just say yeah essentials and pokemon rpg maker is brilliant um is there an easy way for me to get ec levels as a mod or not um you you get them the same as everybody else the same way i get them um there is a give xp command but i don't think you can get them as a mod yeah if you are uh, so I, I prefer this just because i'm a coder and i like the idea of being able to pop it onto my um phone so i've got an emulator on here and I, most of the time when i'm playing roms it's on my steam deck it's on my phone when i'm out and about and traveling for work uh, or on an airplane so i have the, the core thing of me having it on a rom was sort of like a requirement i wanted um, plus, I do want to turn it into like a, buy a little physical ROM and just like load it on, like onto a physical cartridge, and then I can plug it into a Game Boy, which I think is awesome. Um, was there progress? No, there was no progress in the Lighthouse. Um, I didn't want to progress on the Lighthouse today because. Um, because it's a late game area so i've drawn it in and it's going to be in the world map but um it's not i, I want to focus on what's going to be added to tomorrow's game tomorrow's update and if we haven't got this update for tomorrow then uh then yeah then we're well tough 
Uh, sorry for the random side, but Stellaris, that is slow. Yes, it is Stellaris music playing in the background. I tend to put game music for the background. Um, and I'm currently on the Stellaris music hit because I really want to play it again. But I, I, I can't find eight hours to just sit down and play it. I'm tempted to just go live and just stream Stellaris and chat to people. But if I'm not streaming this, uh, people don't come in. Um, you're stuck with the three starters at the beginning or multi have you stuck with the three starters currently it's just the same the default three starters um, I'm going to add a way to get I might add Eevee in as well but yeah it's just the, the vanilla three uh, I, yeah in, in this game it's that um, I'm just, so I'm just I'm trying to work out the other things uh it's good fun, but it's so time consuming. I haven't played it in ages. I mean, we open up Steam now. We go to, I'm a few DLCs behind. Uh, I have like, how many hours have I got in it? About 200 hours in it. It's about three games. It's like when I was in university, I used to play a lot of Civ 5. And like me and some of the guys, we used to have like, well, 14 people battles, and we used to go around each other's house with our laptops and just play Stellaris all day. It used to be amazing. Um, and I got Stellaris during COVID. Um, some of the guys got me into Civ were like, right, we're stuck during COVID. We can't go out. Let's just, so we started doing like big Stellaris games, like eight, nine, of, eight of us just playing Stellaris. Like, I was the first time I played it. Um, yeah, I got 10 friends who played it. The first time I ever streamed on this account, was actually through Stellaris was us just doing Stellaris and um it's something we'd love to go back to and just like stream on a Sunday for eight hours and just play a Stellaris game but there's um it's tough to find eight hours to play it and um find the audience to make it feel like we're not just because there's a lot going on it's a tough one to stream um it was quite good in the group uh, which is so trials versus is isn't just me. You will see me ninety nine percent of the time, but it's it's a, it's a group of five of us. Two hundred max levels. Uh, I am going to add level two hundred max. Uh, I have the code for. I have that code in my other game, um, so I know how to do it. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Oh no, it's IVs. Yeah, uh, ignore a lot of this. Um, this is going to get replaced. Um, over the next week or so when I introduce uh, when I introduce the yeah I, I do that yeah I'm going to introduce the new uh, version of the code and it's going to it's going to be like so much easier but 200 just means it's got high IVs uh, you can't even do EVs annoyingly in this version uh, headbutt mega drain so this is our hard mode we still haven't done this we need one more move for Shroomish. Shroomish has a terrible learn set. Drain punch. Drain punch? Yeah, drain punch. Move. It learns it off um, DM. Drain punch. Got low physical attacks. It's not going to do much damage. Um, what item do we give it? Uh, let's give it... Is it... Big root? I think that's um, yeah, big group. Sorry, I'm kind of ghosting this stream while I've been. NC, don't worry. Connor, thanks for the likes. Are you creating a game? Yes, I am. I'm creating a custom Pokemon ROM hack. Well, I say custom. We are hacking Pokemon Emerald based off of your suggestions in our videos and on stream. Um, so, yeah, we have Emerald here. And as you can see, instantly we've got like custom areas. I recognize the name. But no, I don't remember you. Sorry, it's um, I I I struggle to remember people. It's a terrible fault on mine. Is the starters the same as normal? Yes, currently they are the same as normal. Uh, Trico, uh, Mudkip, and Torchic. You can also find them out in the wild. Um, you can also find the other starters in points. So there's a place called Rubello Town, which is somewhere from the anime. Um, it's media request to Fountain. In your off. Oh god, that's why I remember. Yeah. So this is this isn't the other game. I still haven't done that fountain. 
Yeah, so oh, that was ages ago. Yeah, this is we're doing a different game. I do want to get back to that game at some point. But it's fun. Um, but if we go to Rubello Town, uh, for example, so here in this town you can get the. Uh, no, that's where you get the evolution stones. This this couple. Yeah, so you get all the Unova starters in this room. This is Emerald, yes. Yeah, this is Emerald. Most of my Rome hack will be in Emerald. Uh, so you get the Unova starters here. You get the Galarian starters in Lateport. So in the, in, the, in the next release, you can now... Actually, in this release, you can now get uh, a Galarian starters from there. You can also get a lot of them out in the wild. So there's Squirtle Island, for example, and what 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 you're not. Okay. Let's continue. We got three. This is this is Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it will be a Game Boy Advance ROM, so you can play it on any Game Boy Advance emulator of your choice. Uh, right, water Pokemon. What water Pokemon? Owen Dex. Lotad, Wingull, Mar oh, do, 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 do. Kavana, Barbo, Corfish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Corfish. Good, good timing. Corfish stats. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do. I don't want to do Kavana because that's heavily used by this, but I think Corfish is good. Um, and that's our core three types. And then these are the ones that are going to be given unless they've got the starter. You need coding when creating Game Boy Advance games. You don't have to. Uh, if you're using decompiled, it would be advised to know some coding. Just makes things easier. Uh, if you want to do binary hacking, and do the basics without knowing how to code at all. Um, uh, yeah, you don't, there's, no, there's no coding knowledge needed if you're doing that. Knock off. Uh, yeah, using decompiled, it allows you to do... Uh, there's a lot of GUIs, you know, graphic interfaces, which allow you to do um, uh, what you need. Uh, see you later, yes. Uh, would Leech Life be broken if Emerald was its starting? Leech Life is base 80 in this game. Uh, I have all of the Gen 9 mechanics, Gen 8, 9 mechanics. So it has base 80 power, Leech Life. So yes, Leech Life early game would be ridiculous. I'm thinking Corfish knocks off and then flings something over to you. Not sure it's a great thing because it's going to end up taking damage itself. Shame it's not guts Pokemon. Shell Armor, Hyper Cutter. If I started the same power it had, if it started with the same power it had since Emerald. Um, well, Le Le Leech Life isn't broken. It would give some Pokemon a bit more use, but Leech Life was always just this early game crap move which they gave to Pokemon. They didn't really use bug is anything cool back back in the day they weren't creating a balanced meta game they were just creating an adventure um but i'm trying to think poke in gen gen 3 bug was still classed as crap you didn't really have many physical bug poke when you had heracross you pretty much only had heracross and pince and scyther but they didn't learn leech life I, don't, I really, I don't think it would have. If you're talking about if it replaced every Pokemon had Leech Life, so if they had Leech Life like normally, so um, Zubat getting Leech Life at level two, then yeah, it would have been overpowered. By like getting a base eight physical move on Golbat that early on would have been ridiculous. The thing that sucks about Zubat is you get no good moves for it till like level eighteen, and it's just unusable because you get Absorb, and it's got piddly special attack stats. Um, 
metal floor aqua jet something to deal with grass oh grass pokemon electric it doesn't deal with electric pokemon this thing let's give it a dig dig um item what item do we give core fish muscle band i think it's called a muscle band Muscle band. Yeah, muscle band. That's what we want. Those are the core three. And now we can get... Every trainer is going to have one of these. We're going to have two out of the three of these. Each of the starters are going to have two of the... Uh, <laughs> rivals going to have two of the three of these. Then what we want to do is deal with our um uh the other ones. So I think we should have the flying one. So what's the flying Pokemon? It's I do think we're gonna give it Lanoon. Yeah, Taylor, that's it. Don't get Swallow yet. We'll have species Halo. I um give it guts. We're gonna do we we'll just straight up do fire orb guts tello. And I might just literally give it um move facade. That's just brutal. Straight up straight up brutal. Don't need much else. Um we'll do move wing attack so we can hit ghost types. So we're going to do move Bluck, you can eat your berries, move Thief, and do your uh, fling. No, it doesn't, doesn't need Thief. That, that would do, I think. Uh, so that's the Talo. We also want to give... Lanoon. Lanoon is level 20, so we don't want to give it Lanoon yet. Yeah, no. Uh, slack off's not worth giving it. Bug Pokemon. Nose, we just had Nose Pass. Skitty is fairy type. Skitty is not a fairy type. I'm get I always think Skitty's fairy type for some. Uh Electrite you fight later on. I think this maybe we just give it to four. And we can see what people think. Skitty would make a good fairy type. I think I was getting confused with Snubble. Man, I'm in too late game. Um, dust stocks. We're gonna give her a dust stocks because it carries me through so many nuzlocks. Um, whenever I'm doing a Owen nuzlocke, like being able to get dust stocks really early on doesn't get moonlight to level seventeen. We're upping everything to level seventeen. Why not? Um, we got move moonlight. It's really tanky. Uh, it's it's surprisingly tanky, and a lot of people don't take that into account. Like ninety spe ninety special, seventy defense. Plus it gets moonlight. Plus it gets poison powder. Like it does pretty good. Uh, we can do move bug bite. Uh, so bug bite then will handle um, psychics trying to hit it. Uh, poison to do what moves we can give it. Teach it gust. Don't anything too powerful. We're gonna go in the bulk way. Uh, we got a thief. I 
think that's good. That's a nice early early option. Move confusion. Uh, what item do we give it? Black sludge. <laughs> Item, moonlight powder, powder, leftovers. Leftovers, because you can actually get leftovers at this point in the game. So if you can get it, then they can get it. Get quick attack, or is it too much since it's already quite dangerous? Quick attack. Good, good, good shout. I did mean to put that on. So that's six Pokemon. Let's go with this now and then we'll adjust oh oh my stream crashed i stream crashed so i'm gonna kill the stream here and i'll fix it later uh, apologize i don't know what happened there but my computer just went kaput um i think you can hear me can't see me. So anyway, 